All right, so continuing from the first video, we're going to be looking at some of the scenes and, and how do they work in this template. Um, essentially, there are two types of scenes. Once with a single post like this one, where you only have one post in your scene. And the other one is multi-post, where it, let's say you're creating a shot for a show uh, where some politicians said a whole bunch of uh, silly things and you want to show all of those posts. And for that, you can use a multi-scene like this one and show their whole line of posts uh, one after another. And so you totally don't have to use these scenes if you don't want to. You can build something completely of your own, but they're here if you need them. So that's all up to you. Now, one thing that might not be very apparent from just looking at these scenes is some of the automation that we've built into them, which is really, really cool. And it essentially allows you to populate these scenes with your own content in the matter of minutes. So let's take a quick look at a couple of them and I'll explain how all of that works. Say, for example, this post focus comp. Let's take a look at what we have going on here. So the post animates in and then the camera zooms in. Actually, let me swap it out with a newly created post. And as you can see, we pretty much have the whole shot already done. Now let's see how this is built. So here's my tweet. Here's my background. And here on my scene settings layer, I can see that uh, we have a controller to adjust the camera zoom, which animates with some nice easing and also fades out our background as it does so. Very neat. We also have this option here to turn off the grayed out look on our background, which is quite nice um, to separate the post from the background. But you can keep it off and uh, customize the look of the background yourself if you want to. Okay, and for our next example, let's take a look at this guy here multi-post stream. And so here we have a stream of posts that animate in one after another. It looks quite nice, but wait till you see how easy it is to customize this scene for your needs. And it's all driven by a little camera script and these four markers over here. So here it's the first post and then the second post and then the third post and so on and the camera moves to each one of them automatically. Now, how does it know which post to focus on? Well, you set that over here in the scene settings layer. Just select the posts in the sequence that you want the camera to move to them and the script will do the rest. Now, the final piece of the puzzle is how does the camera know how quickly it should move between these posts? And that's where this guy comes in, camera move duration. At the moment, it's set to two seconds, meaning it will take two seconds to move between two posts. So if I check here, I can see that it starts to move at the four second mark and it completes the move at six second mark as it hits this marker. And then it's the same here at the eight second mark. And I can reposition my post higher or lower and the camera automatically centers on it. That's pretty neat, right? And so it's exactly the same principle then if we go to our floor drop scene. So here we see that all of the elements just drop in. And then let's, uh, let's just see here two and a half seconds. Uh, before, just before it gets the four second mark, our camera starts moving and it moves to this post over here. And now if we wanted it to move to a different post, say perhaps this one, what is it called? Um, okay. I'll rename it to say move here. And then, uh, here in my scene settings, I'll set my second post as move here layer. 
And as you can see, the camera automatically recentered on our post. And now let's just duplicate this guy over here. And, uh, and this is just how easy it is to reorganize the scene and make it work exactly as you want. And then finally, uh, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, let's take a look at our backgrounds. So if I go into my assets and expand this folder here, let's see that we have a whole bunch of pre-made backgrounds that I can choose from. So I can use Facebook icons and have these nicely animated Facebook-like icons. And actually, in fact, if we go here, there's another controls layer <laughs> uh, where I can adjust the direction that these icons are moving in, just like that. And I can also change the speed to, say, 5 and have them move much slower. It's just easy, isn't it? So yeah, and there's like lots and lots of nice little features like this that uh, make this template so nice to use. And then I can change it to Twitter icons. And also in this scene, uh, it's a little bit different, but I, but if I find my background, I can go into this guy here and turn on a marble texture so that it looks like the posts are hovering over a marble floor. Uh, and you can also change it to wood or just drop in any other texture of, uh, of your choice. Okay, and I guess that wraps up our second tutorial on animated scenes. Uh, and in the next video, we'll be looking at the highlighter effect.